Having done so many challenges, I wanted to do a new challenge that is not super popular. After a long, deep thought, I decided to do my first continuous series called The Hate Lock. Now you might be sitting in your chair, scratching your head, wondering, what is a hate lock? Well, my naive friend, let me break it down for you. A hate lock is similar to a gen lock, where I play each generation as a continuous nuzlocke, and if a Pokemon faints, I can't use it in any of the other games. The big difference is that any Pokemon I use to beat the champion gets retired, and can no longer be used ever in any other generation. And I only can play one game per generation, either the original or remakes. This is nothing more than practice for my true goal, a full series hate lock. Thus, this begins our journey into the insanity of playing every generation as a continuous hardcore Nuzlocke. It is time to start with Fire Red. To decide my starter, chat got to vote to whom I picked. And well, the best starter for Gen 1, Bulbasaur was chosen. With our new Bulbasaur called Pot, I start my amazing journey. We have the classic rival fight to start, but surely I never lose it. Oh, I lost. Well, I'm sure that's not a bad omen to what's to come, right? Anyway, I grabbed the package for the Professor Oak and game Pokeballs. Thus, the run officially started. In the first few routes, I catch a Pidgey called Yep Dip. Shout out to Munching Orange as for the reference to them. I also proceed to get a Mankey called Monkey, a Rattata called Trash Salad, and a Caterpie called T. Now, like most runs, I won't go through every catch we get. It is time for the first gym though, and well, it was a massacre. Paul would proceed to Vine Whip the Geodude, killing it, gaining another level, and learning Poison Powder and Sleep Powder. Honest came in and fell as fast as winning the battle in a flash, and Pot evolves. One badge down, seven to go. Moving through the Mount Moon, as let's be honest, nothing interesting happens, and everyone always picks the Healer's Foxel. Right? Right, guys? I make it to the next town where the next badge awaits us. It is time for Misty, and well, just like Brock, I murder the Staryu with Pot, and Sami also falls in with two moves beating the next gym in about six seconds thanks to the speed up button. Before I head to the next gym, I do have the Nugget Bridge rival fight. But that is no issue, as Yegdip is about to take down their Pidgeotto, and their Rattata falls in one gust. Charmander falls to two gusts, and to finish the Abra, we switch into Bob, who simply pursues the winning the battle. I skip the SSN fight, and well, it didn't really end well. Bob Fury attacks and takes down the Pidgeotto. For Eradicate, I switch into Bubbles, and then Monk, who can murder it, with a Karate Chop. For the new Kadabra, Bubble is perfect for it, using Bite, and then a simple Tackle. Chameleon is the final Mon, but luckily I have the Mighty Bob. I get unlucky with that Fury attacks, but I get it in red. This allows Jagdick to come in and simply gust winning the battle. I now rub the Captain's back and get the move cut, moving to the third gym. It's time for the third gym, and I lead Boop against the Voltorb. Boop outspeeds so Voltorb doesn't get to do anything, as Dig KOs it. Next is the mascot Pikachu, and Bob takes offense to that, as clearly it's a Clefairy fan, so it KOs it with Dig. For the final Mon Raichu, I switch to Uwu as a double team. I first use Cut, but get hit with Static as they once again go for double team. So now I play the game of, will I power or will I miss? And well, none of that happens as Dig takes it down winning the third badge. More traveling happens where with us catching a Vulpix named Firefox, which is the perfect for the next gym. Speaking of the next gym, let's jump right into it. Fighting the grass type trainer, Erica. And did you really think she stood a chance against Firefox with Flamethrower? As expected, Video Bell gets burnt to a crisp. Kangla thought it could do something, but also gets destroyed. And finally, it's Vileplume. But let's just say, I caused a forest fire in that gym, getting the fourth badge. Before the next badge, I do have to fight Team Rocket boss Giovanni, but I'm not worried. First, I start with Onyx, but Pot takes it down with Vine Whip. And then they sacrifice Raihorn to Pot, leaving just Kangaskhan. I switch to Bubbles, as a Mega Punch does very little. I Dragon Range after being hit with Leah, not wanting to deal with a crit, I switch into Uwu and back into Bubbles, getting Kanga to minus two. After that, I just spam Dragon Rage, beating Giovanni and opening more paths for me. I first head to the cemetery and fight our rival fight. Firefox against Pidgeotto, and well, Flamethrower obliterates it. Gyarados comes out. No, he doesn't have a water move. I stay in to Wisp it, and well, I miss the first one. Why can't it be 100% accurate for fire types? But luckily, Firefox lands the second one. I go into Bubbles for it to be a mirror match. The difference is, I have Dragon Rage, which 2 hit KZOs it. For Execute, I switch back into Firefox and then scramble them eggs. Kadapo gets bitten by Bubbles, leaving just Charmeleon. But the Fire Star is no match for 2 Dragon Rages, winning the battle. Now I grab our next encounter, being Ghastly, called Ass. Before the first day ends, I grab a Snorlax and call it Teddy, and reach Fuchsia City. Day 2, I jump right into the next battle. I lead Nose versus Coughing, and a single Psychic takes it out. But Nose doesn't stop there, as he also takes out the Muck, Coughing too, 
And finally, the big old wheezing, giving us the next badge without breaking a sweat. Skipping both the rival and Giovanni fight due to nothing interesting happening, I go right to the next gym. Sabrina leaves off with her Gadabra against my Zapdos with a nasty Hidden Power Dark. Hidden Power takes down uh, the first one. The criminal Mr. Mime is next to fall, bringing the world to justice and the kids are now safe. Venomoth can handle Hidden Power, but jokes on her that I'm using my bird with Peck. This leaves just Alakazam. But if you haven't noticed, Zapdos doesn't care and finishes the battle with a final Hidden Power, getting the 6th badge. Now, it's the Fireman Blaine. I lead Bubbles so he can surf the Growlithe to an early grave. Ponyta also gets washed. Rapidash lives the first surf, and after wasting their potion, it falls. Finally, it's their Arcanine, and two more surfs seals the deal, showcasing how strong a water type is. Now, it's time for Giovanni. We lead Bubbles to hit a critical hit, Surf on Rhyhorn. Afterwards, I use Surf again, killing Rhyhorn too. Doug Trio, Nita Queen, and Nita King gain the final badge and heading straight to the Elite Four without breaking a single sweat. But before heading to the Elite Four, we make it to the Articuno. We catch the bird and call it Burb, as it will be a very useful member for the Elite Four. First is Lorelei. She leads her Dugon against my drop in the Electrode. One Thunderbolt takes it down. For Cloyster, it's the exact same thing. The AI being confused sends in another water type of Slowbro, who also falls. Lapras comes in to live a Thunderbolt and confuses me in the process. Not interested in hurt hurting myself, I send in Lord to tank an Ice Beam. Lord gets confused and hits himself in confusion. Knowing I can't risk the Surf into hitting myself, I go back into Dopin who can finish off the Lapras with T-Bolt. Now is Jinx. I use Life Screen first as they put me to sleep. Then I go back into Lord who proceeds to sleep due to Lovely Kiss and being attracted. We finally land a hit taking the Jinx to red, but Lord only has 9 HP. So I switch into Spoons to finish the battle with 2 Shadow Balls, that was way too close for comfort. I'm hoping the next battles aren't as bad. Now is Bruno. I lead with Pod against the Onyx. A simple Giga Drain kills it. Hitmonchan also falls to a Giga Drain, allowing for Hitmon Lee to come in. But after a bit of back and forth, it was no match for a Razor Leaf. Onyx falls to another Giga Drain, and I finish the battle with Spoons, who takes out the Machamp. Now for Agathod. We leave our Spoons to proceed to Psychic the Gengar, Golbat, Arbok, the second Gengar, and finally the Haunter winning the battle in a flash thanks to Spoons. Just goes to show that Agatha isn't that scary. Now for Lance. We lead with Doppin against their Gyarados and fry the big fish with a Thunderbolt. For Dragonair, I set up a life screen and send in Bob. Bob proceeds to Ice Beam killing it. Aerodactyl is out and I heart switch into Lord. Though the Dino does get an Ancient Power boost, the Lord didn't care and murder it with the Surf. For Dragonair, we stay in using Ancient Power till we get the boost. Not wanting to risk a critical hit though, we did the added defense, I switch back into Burb who can Ice Beam the next turn. This just leaves Dragonite, who is no match for the cold breath of our bird, winning the final battle of the Elite Four. It is time for the champion. We leave Doppin one last time to Thunderbolt the Pidgeotto, taking it down. Rhyhorn is next, and Pot is our best answer, switching in on an Earthquake. Luckily we outspeed using Giga Drain and healing back to full thanks to it. For Alakazam, Zapdos is our best answer with Hidden Power, Dark, taking it down in just one hit. Executor also comes in just to be drilled pecked into the ground. Thank you for that. Gyarados swings in and Zapdos takes the future site. Knowing I can't one-shot my Doppin, I switch it in as I miss the Hydro Pump. A single Thunderbolt cooks it just leaving Charizard. Knowing a Thunderbolt can kill, I decide to do the funny and click explosion to get the kill. But unfortunately it lives on about 1 HP. We send in Lord who can use an Ancient Power getting it back below half, and then two more finishes the Dragon winning us the run. Thus, the first of many challenges is finished. We have to retire Electrode, Articuno, Omastar, Venusaur, Dogdrio, and Alakazam, meaning like my rule sets say, I cannot use them in any future generations. Thank you all for watching and get to this far into the video, I really do appreciate it. I hope you are excited for this challenge as I am, as we continue the next video with Gen 2 that will be out hopefully in about a month. Other than that, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>